With DataView, you can easily monitor or change any data element in your entire ladder program while the program's running. Let's say we want to monitor this C2 control bit. Well, just click on DataView, fill in the blanks. We want to monitor C2. It's currently set to off. And if I want to edit that or change it, I click on the Edit button. To change C2, I just double click on one of these buttons. I get a warning. Now these warnings can be annoying, but keep in mind, when you change something in your system, that may be directly affecting a piece of heavy machinery, so please be careful with that. Me, I like to turn these off. So we can turn the C bit off, turn it back on. You can also create a data view by right clicking on an element or a rung and saying monitor values from rung contacts and coils or just from the instruction itself. So if I select from run contacts and coils to data view, it populates a data view with everything from this instruction and everything in this coil. If I right click and say monitor values and only give me the stuff in the instruction, it only gives me the data elements associated with this instruction right here. That's a real quick and easy way to populate a data view. In a previous example, we double clicked on C2 to change it. Double click to change it again. If I single click on C2, nothing happens and then I can independently write that later. I can also select several things and then write them all at once. Once you get a data view set up the way you like it, you can save it. Highlight the data view window, then say debug, data view, save or save as. Now you can open it anytime you want to explore a particular task or a subprogram. You can also save by right clicking in the data view window and doing a save or save as. You can send any or all of the elements in the data view to a trend view simply by highlighting the ones you want and saying trend all or trend the selection. And it instantly pops up a trend view with those data elements in the view for you. Check out the separate video on trend view to learn more about that. You can export the contents of the data view to a spreadsheet. Just right click, say export, all or the selection, and save it as a CSV file so the spreadsheet can bring it up and look at it. If you want to change the format of an element, just select it and then choose the number format from this drop down right here. Let's say we want to look at that one in, in hex. Each data view is fully customizable. You can either go to view, options, data view and change things here or just right click, options, data view. For example, right now we're just displaying the nicknames, but if I wanted to see the element along with that, I could do that. So I can see C1 is also named Drive Y0. If I go back to that options screen, one of the ones I like is to change the bit display settings. Right now an on is a box on and the off is a box off. I find that hard to see, so I prefer to change on to a green dot and off to a red dot. It makes it much easier to see what's going on at a glance in the data view. You can use the data view to monitor the status of programs and stages. Just drop the program name in a data view. I have a program right here called set Y7. Drop it in and it automatically populates it with some of the more commonly used flags. If I type set Y7 with a dot, then I get a list of all the possible flags associated with that routine that I can monitor here in the data view. All the stages, the time slice, the counters, everything. Let's just monitor if this is, uh, if this program is done yet. So now I can just watch the one flag associated with that routine. Well, that's a pretty good start on using a data view. It's an incredibly powerful yet easy and intuitive way to view just about anything you could want to monitor and or control in your program. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series for more ways to get up and running quickly with the Do More PLC. And as always, send us any suggestions or comments you may have. We appreciate the feedback. Spend less, do more from Automation Direct.